to the lesson that will talk about having a customized color scheme for your website. Now what you could do is you could Google website color schemes and get colors that way. There are a few websites that I like to use. One of them is called Color Scheme Designer. Another website is Cooler, K-U-L-E-R, and it allows you to pick up color schemes. If you go to Color Scheme Designer, you can choose different color combinations. So for example, if you choose blue, you can use the various shades of blue, or you can go to complementary colors and so forth. If you do pick one that has a variety of colors, I would not provide more than three of those different colors on your site. Me personally, I think it gets a little crazy, but I am not claiming to be an art major. That is just my opinion. Now, let's say for example, you want to use maybe a dark purple, a lighter shade of blue, and maybe an orange. If you want to pick up those colors, you can click on the print screen button of your keyboard. The print screen button will allow you to take a snapshot of that page. Once you do that, you would then go to Pixlr. It's a free online image editor. When you load this page, you would then say open a photo editor. In this case, we're going to create a new image. Now you can go ahead and call it color scheme. I would save this image and I'll go ahead and say OK. I will then do edit and then choose paste. Now it might take a few seconds and you should get a window. When this window pops up, go ahead and click on always allow this application to access the clipboard and then say OK. I will use the move tool in the tools window. It's a little arrow and move it. Go ahead and save this because you will be accessing this later most likely. Go ahead and do file, save, leave it as color scheme and set it up as a JPEG. You could set it to 100% in quality then say OK. Then locate the folder where you're saving everything for this unit. We'll then choose save. When this pops up click yes. Now you're in a position to pick up the color scheme numbers in order to change the colors on your website. With Pixlr open, go ahead and go to your website, choose more, then choose manage site. You may have to scroll down to access the left hand window. In this case you would choose colors and fonts. Every change that you make will appear below so you can either accept the changes or not. I'm going to recommend to choose a dark color surrounding the website. I do believe that it draws people's eyes into your web page. So I'll go pick up from Pixlr. I'm going to use the eye drop tool and select one of the darker colors. Maybe I'll choose dark purple. Notice in the tools window when you click on it with the eye drop tool the color pops up. Click on that and you can now grab that number. With that number selected you can do control C for copy. With that copied return to your site appearance and now I'm going to go into page background color. I will select custom. I will click underneath the color palette and do control Control V for paste and notice how it changes the color. You can save it. It's always nice to save, but I'm going to continue to edit. So now the banner where it says Clemeni Social Studies, that's going to be the site header area. You will be creating a customized banner later. So I'll return to Pixlr with the eyedrop tool selected. I'll go ahead and cancel this. I will then pick up a different color. Maybe I'll choose a lighter shade of purple. I could always come back and change this. Grab that number, control C for copy, return to site appearance. Go under site header, choose site header background color, custom, control V that number to change that color. I will return then to add a color to the sidebar here. So I'll go back to Pixlr with the eyedrop tool selected. I will then pick up a different color, maybe a light shade of this orange. Click on it, grab the color, copy it. I will then return to my site and go to the sidebar gadget. In this case it would be sidebar gadget background color. Click on custom and then control V that number. Now underneath home that is the content area. I highly recommend if you choose to add a color that you choose a light color. The best reading combination is black text on a white background so if you're going to use a color it should be light so that people can read. That would be called the content area. So let's return and maybe I'll choose this orange but I'm going to click on the orange and I might experiment with a lighter shade of that orange which is possible and say OK. Go back in and grab that number. Copy it and in the content area background color and then you can paste that in. Make sure you save. After you save go ahead and go back to the site. You want to be sure that you can read the links on the left hand side. You might have to change the color of the text so that it is readable. I might actually go in and play with this color scheme. I don't know that I'm happy with it. Again you would go to more, manage site 
and go ahead and choose colors and fonts to experiment with those color schemes. After going back and forth between Pixlr and picking up different colors, I think I'm pretty happy with this color scheme. I do want to point out that you should change the font as well, so you can go to the top of the window here, and I always encourage kids to experiment. That's the only way they're really going to understand this area, is to experiment with the options. They can always go back if they don't like it and set it back to the theme default. So go ahead and choose page font and I will visit all that say page font and I'm going to set it to Georgia. You want to encourage anyone who's creating websites to use a readable and common font because what happens if you pick one of these fancy fonts and other people look at it on their website and they don't have that font then they won't see that font so you want it to be common so I'm gonna go ahead and visit everything that says font except for site header because you will be customizing your own banner so content area content font is going to be set to Georgia content font size I usually set it to 16 and then you might change the text color if you can't read it content title font is also Georgia content title font size 16. I'll go ahead and save it to show you what's going on. So if I save it and return to the site, and if I go to edit mode and I start typing, it should type using the Georgia font, which is great. That's what I want. I'll go ahead and click save, and you can return back to the manage site and continue editing in colors and fonts so that your site is how you want it. The sidebar gadget is also going to be Georgia. This concludes the session on how to customize your color scheme in Google Sites. Until next time, you have a fabulous day.